City skyline, city skyline, city skyline. City skyline, city skyline, city skyline. This is perfect. So city skyline, city skyline, city skyline. This is perfect. So city skyline, city skyline, city skyline. This is perfect. So city skyline, city skyline, city skyline. This is perfect. So city skyline, city skyline, city skyline. This is perfect. So Okay, so we are working. Let's see. I'm just walking a little bit around the city, trying to see what's up. I'm gonna walk over this bridge. Oh, she can jump. Anyways, <laughs> um, we're just walking, viewing the city, seeing what we got. I am going to try to cross the street jaywalking. Okay, I think I can go. Ow! Oh! Okay. Uh, look. So we are, I think we're in like the, let's see what interstate this is. We're on like the west side. <clears throat> so we're entering the west side right now. This is like the big residential area. Um, also like a lot of, like the biggest malls are on this side. A lot of the taller buildings. As you can see, we have kind of like a expressway type street um, overpass that I'm walking along coming up uh, Mildred Speedway. Oh, looks like she's getting herself some lunch. What? Okay. Is she crying? Oh no, she's eating. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, didn't know it did that. This is also, so basically, I'm starting this series so that um, people can kind of guide me and I can also guide other people. We'll learn together. And also just to show off like some of the city building skills I've built up since starting to learn how to use this and how to play this game. And so we're just gonna go on this journey together. I'm just, I literally learned how to do the walking like two days ago. So I just been kind of playing around with it. This is kind of like my fourth time doing it. I'm actually gonna switch to a bird so we can kind of cover more ground. Let's see if I can figure out how to use it. Hold on. Let me actually see something because I just saw this and I wanted to try it. Okay, let's try this. Um, oh, I switched to, okay. That's gonna be confusing actually. Okay, I'm also just now switching my, yeah, we need to do, same side. Okay, so I also just tried to switch my controls to left-handed because I am left-handed, but we're not going to do that. So, anyways, back to what we were doing. So, let's go back in our bird's eye view. Take lift off. Alrighty. I'm 
also coming from PC to PS5. This is my first PS5 city. Um, before I was doing a lot of PC building. And I can also show y'all those too. Um, if you want, just leave a comment and I can, I'll definitely show, the, show you them. I haven't got a chance to list them on, oh wow, got some lightning over there. I haven't got a chance to list those cities on, um, what to call them, on Steam, but I will when I get a chance. I'll speed it up a little bit. I see that other bird's kind of just cruising. So, this is kind of just the back end of the residential. As you can see, it goes all the way that way. Over there, we got some industry, some offices behind the industry. Kind of like industrial offices, like engineering offices. Um, then, this side, <clears throat> we have the other side of our um, industry, or our, I'm sorry, our residential area. And that's pretty much just kind of more residencies. I can kind of also explain how my, um, how my uh, roads are set up. So I have a couple different interstate styles. This one's kind of your cut slate, like regular, degular, clear cut uh, interstate with the entrances and exits it kind of spread out and straight onto the road. I do prefer to do one ways along the interstates on each side just to prevent having traffic issues and like trying to cross onto the other side on stuff yeah so since they're so close it's easy to just build a bridge so there's a lot of bridges also in this city i plan on putting a couple more very soon if traffic gets bad but traffic's been fine honestly um the traffic in this city let's see what it is currently So traffic is at 78%. That's pretty good. Um, like I said, I don't really have any issues usually with traffic. Let's actually just go through all of these kind of and see. So confession, I, um, <laughs> I set their taxes for residential a little higher just to generate some revenue for the city. Even though I have unlimited mode, I still kind of try to stimulate my economy. So I raised taxes and then left the game running. And now all of my residents moved out. Well, not all of them, but pretty much a lot of my residents, residential. This is my original kind of residential area. I added an interstate in between and then also added this interstate first. And then that kind of built out this circular residential I have going on here. Let me kind of get rid of all that. I do plan on deleting all those houses soon, just so some new ones can build. And for, um, you know, I guess, um, reparations, I'm sorry. For rep reparations, I lowered the tax to 9%, which I'm actually going to correct now because, you know, I'm not gonna keep losing money. So anyways, um, as you can see, this is a very profitable city, even without, um, you know, all these residencies. We're still generating so much income from our new area. This is pretty much the last area getting built out over here, these two. Um, all residential this is kind of like a lake community off in the back offset from the main road this is an entrance and exit and then you know it kind of just spans along this entire lake area <clears throat> they got their own little expressway across the bridge and everything which i need to add toll roads that's another thing 
I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, this this area is also still building out. So you know, a lot of those residents that moved from the other side. Oh oh oh! Here they go again. Here they go again. So a lot of the residents from the other side moved over here, which I guess is kind of a good thing. But at the same time, it's like. I guess once this finishes building out, they'll start to move back. Because <laughs> I cleared out the area just to see if they would start rebuilding. And as you can see, there's still empty spaces. Like, this is definitely zoned. But overall, actually, it does seem like the houses are starting to build back out and move. And as you can see, also, the population is going up. So that's good. Seems like people are getting robbed. What's going on with that? Okay, so they live next to a police station. How have these people been? Okay, they are connected to the road. But the police station doesn't go down there. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Let's make sure this police right down. I think we'll put a bigger, bigger station. That ought to solve that issue. So, let's just see. Anyway, so, let's just see. some industry, some offices behind the industry. Kind of like industrial office, like engineering offices. Um, then this side, <clears throat> we have the other side of our um, industry, or our, I'm sorry, our residential area. And that's pretty much just kind of Alright, so I think next steps for this city, since it's all built out, I'm going to go ahead and, let me go to the more aesthetically pleasing view. I'm going to go ahead and build something along this interstate. I didn't want to build on this side too, too much here, and then especially on this side, the whole thing's pretty much left. I kind of, I'm thinking about doing... A university or something I haven't purchased those DLCs yet but and then also this whole area back here is still empty um, also the airport has a lot of space because I do plan on upgrading to that airport DLC so there's a lot of work that can be done on this map now that it's already planned out I kind of wanted to see what I can how I can renovate it so this is kind of the layout now we're gonna get into the fixer upper so obviously we had a lot of people abandon their homes back here um, and basically this entire side of the map is about I don't know 65 percent maybe a little bit less I'm gonna go ahead and down here in this area leave these residencies I am probably going to have to turn this square kind of from like where this um, bridge goes over all the way to this library. Probably cut this street straight down. Let's see, because it kind of evenly distributes between the interstate and the. Okay, yeah, so I think we'll just leave it. But it does need to be renovated into a sewage park because I don't like the fact that I have raw sewage being spilt out and then I also have this kind of makeshift treatment facility going on here um, which as you can see has created a literal river 
Um, and then also redo this interstate area. So honestly, I like the way it's set up with the entrance and the exits. The exits, it works. Um, but I don't like the fact that you know it's kind of just discombobulated back here. And then obviously we have this treatment center here. So maybe actually we could take this area and turn it into the treatment facility since the interstate's here. And then, but oh, the problem is, the problem is we have this facility here. So I completely forgot about our train station. And I don't want to get rid of it because we also have another train station back here. <clears throat> Let's see. We have another train station here. And it's pretty popular, as you can see. So I don't want to, you know, only have one because then that might create a big, big, big traffic jam at this one. Um, so I just had to take a sip of coffee there. But as you can see, it kind of just flows, even though there is some traffic in front of it. It's, it's zoned pretty well. Um, traffic could be better, though. Let's see. Um, this is all oil company, oil fields area. So back over here to our sanitation. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> um, we kind of have like a trash hub and also power plants which is another thing that need to be moved around so that's pretty much just gonna have to be put somewhere else I'm not sure maybe we can you know what honestly maybe we can leave these here no we're gonna move them to the other side honestly might as well put them back here where there's nothing built um, because no one's going to want to live at the top here. I mean, honestly, actually, we could build something here. We could make something shake. I didn't realize there was a power plant back here, but, well, no. Let's say each water source will have power plants nearby, and let's clear this lake out. Actually, yes, we're going to clear this lake out of all of these pumps and I'm gonna put them back here on land. Well, we can move them to behind the bridge actually let's do that um, to say because we're taking up a lot of our space here you know there was a windmill here that's why this is built like this so you know we can probably build an entrance to an area here build that little area out maybe make this into a complete roundabout or just complete that um, pass here and then yeah we can actually make this a roundabout make it kind of visually nice we can put a statue or a nice unique building in the middle so yeah let's do that um, and then here in this area I want to rezone this so we kind of have small houses in the north now and we have small houses in the south and we have low residential here I want to turn this into like a hub like it just looks like a hub so maybe unzoning some of the offices we have back here and turning that into all industrial and then turning this into maybe one square at a time so this square could turn into all offices that way people are still able to commute easily because it's right off the interstate and this area is already pretty well zoned for traffic so we'll start here and then um, that's pretty well connected to all three sides and then I think the next one we'll do um, will be this one 
because this one already has a lot of tall buildings anyway so it'll be good for the the land value and the, the levels and then here on this bottom part um, we can leave actually this side residential since it's connected via this tunnel oh wow okay let's just see how this is flowing okay so maybe we can beef that up real quick and come back to it later some trees oh no 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 so that everyone that's here is trying to turn and go under to this side that's why I want to leave the residential so I don't back up that interstate too much you know um, so yeah let's see how that does but adding those spaces so now well actually let's also see because i let a lot of newer homes get built here but we might as well just demolish that but then there's this area you know what let's make this the other office park and that should fulfill our needs and we can leave this top area, maybe make that um, high density, and leave this over here as residential to kind of ease the transition. Um, and we'll see. We can always turn that into bigger. But yeah, let's rezone all this area since it's already abandoned. That'll be our next steps. Um, as far as down here, these people gonna have to rebuild they'll probably move over there once we um, remove these houses and to stop the displacement of all these residents we're gonna do high density housing here uh, take care of that so then honestly over here we might just push the interstate back well, no, because I don't want to interfere with. Well, yeah, because we can always slither it this way. And then have it come along here. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, because it's already basically entertained land. And also, because let's see, I felt like there needed to be an interstate over here. But there kind of already is one, so I don't want to jump the gun. But um, I want to put another one down. I like putting them down. Maybe this roadway here. It's pretty popular. If it gets busy, we can always do another interstate because I can, you know, you can already kind of see like this is going to have a lot of people. Yeah, we might have to make that to where it's no stops um because it's also i purposely didn't connect here just in case um you know we had to build something so only problem is we're gonna lose a lot of residential we could always end it so yeah so that'll be one of the last things we do I wanted to finish building up first trying to get the land to land so because this is already basically interstate country like we could definitely make something work that way we have easy access actually yes that way we have easy access to our airport and then we can just go ahead and connect with the other interstate that I built on this side. We could even make it look like this. 
I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. I just, I guess I just didn't. Well, oh, actually, not everything has to be interstate. We'll leave this as a state highway. It'll just be a, you know, traffic prone area, I guess. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Because I could always put down a one way, two one way streets, and then have overpasses or underpasses or something. We'll see. Uh, moving on. So, that's pretty much the plan. Uh oh. Alright, well, next episode will be in crisis mode. I'll see y'all later. I'm signing out. I saw on the dot.